Good morning. Time relates to eternity. Time is a momentary opportunity for eternal preparation. Listen to Galatians 6, 7 through 10. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked for whatever one sows, that will he also reap. For the one who sows to his own flesh will, from the flesh, reap corruption. But the one who sows to the Spirit will, from the Spirit, reap eternal life. And let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. Perseverance, cumulative happenings in moments of time, that's what perseverance is, will yield an eternal fruit, an eternal fruit. Uh, listen to Ken Geyer in what is just one of the most beautiful books you'll ever read called Shaped by the Cross. Love it. Very contemplative and meditative as you read it. Um, he says, God is using the circumstances of our lives, all the circumstances of our lives. That's an important statement. As tools. Think of it like a sculpture, right? He goes on. He goes about the work the same way Michelangelo went about his, with within the rough hewn stone of the self is trapped the image of Christ. To release the image, he chips away everything that isn't Jesus. That's what he's doing in time. He's chipping away through events, through occurrences, through things that you do that are just amazing things that you do that just fail he's shaping you chiseling away things that aren't jesus but it's gorgeous just as the essence of sculpture is the loss of the stone the essence of being conformed to the image of christ is the loss of the self see god liberates me by helping me get rid of a little bit of me. And he does that as he chisels and chisels and chisels in moments in time with the circumstances of time as he is crafting and preparing something for eternity. Right? So time is an eternal preparation. That's an important perspective for you to lay hold of. I hope you will. Take care.